All right, guys, so we've come to the, our final project, and this is going to be a chance for some of you to do some acting and show us your acting shop, show us what you can do. So we've been building up to this point. We did our splash screen to kind of intro your superhero, um, had the uh, text disappear uh, that said starring your character, and then we did some 3D motion tracking. Now it's time for your superhero to fly and time for them to fly away back to their home country or home planet wherever they're from okay so we are going to have some videos so here's a video I took uh, a little bit ago and basically in the video uh, let me just go ahead and put it in and I'll show you what it is so let me uh, go ahead and drag us into my composition I'm going to create a new composition and let me play this video for you. So here it is. It's me standing there. I take a deep breath because I know I'm about to fly away. I'm going to get into my Superman squat. And then I'm going to jump and I'm going to fly away. Wait, why didn't I fly away? Then once you have jumped, you just need to kind of walk out of the screen. And this is what's called a clean frame. And we need to use this video that comes afterwards so record a pretty good amount of video at the end that is what's considered to be clean frame okay so that's it you need to just kind of show yourself getting ready if you want to act and do something beforehand and do something cool before you fly away you can do that um, be creative but then basically you're gonna just jump like you're flying okay so the first thing that I like to do I like to come into right here as I walk off the screen and I'm gonna split this uh, layer so to do that we can go up to edit and we can hit split layer that's also you can hit uh, command shift and D to split it and that will split that and let's go ahead and rename this clean frame and we're gonna put this on the bottom for now and then let's go back to here and now on this one what we're gonna find is we're gonna find right at the point that I'm jumping maybe like right let's go back one you're like right there as I'm jumping and you see my hands are going up like I'm about to fly away my feet are up so let's split this again so I'm gonna hit command shift and D and what I want to do at this point now with this one let's rename this one to uh, flying and this one is uh, I don't know just intro or something okay so that way we kinda know what we've got when I click on flying, what I want to do, I'm going to go up and make another mask. So similar to like what I did with um, uh, the 3D text. And this time though, I'm going to make a mask around myself. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I can hit spacebar to pan. And so let me go ahead and I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to go around, try to do as good a job as I can while also being somewhat quick just for the sake of the video and go all the way around my person now this should feel somewhat similar from uh, familiar to Photoshop so we have some experience Oops. in Photoshop going around and and hit spacebar and kind of pan down so I can do my legs. At the end, if we didn't do a good job, we can always kind of grab some of the points and move them. Uh, like that, I didn't do a great job. But 
Put the space bar and pan up again. These straight lines it makes it easy. All right, so I'm getting close to being back to the beginning, and you see, as soon as I close it off, it turns the background black. Oh no, that's is that good? Oh no, nope, that's fine. Not a problem. So what we can do then is, well, let's let's do this first. So before I do any of that, on a, this flying layer, right here on this little bit of text that, or the little bit of uh, video here. I'm going to do a two finger click on it and I'm going to hit time and I'm going to hit freeze frame. And what that's going to do is it's going to freeze this um, section of the video in just that spot there so that basically I keep myself where I'm jumping and I look like I'm about to take off flying. Okay. Then at the bottom, our background that's called clean frame what we want to do is we want to just kind of click and drag this over so that it goes back to the beginning and it fills that part in and that's gonna fill in that black section that we just did okay so let's kind of zoom back out so we can see what we've got so far so there we are so now we've got whoop and then I just kind of freeze there all right so let's click back on to our flying and let's go back to right at that first frame where I start to fly. Hit P on your keyboard and it's going to bring up the position and I'm going to hit the stopwatch to start my keyframe right there. I'm going to grab this little crosshair guy and maybe, well before I do that, let's move Let's go maybe five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's grab this little crosshairs. Oh, not that one. And I'm gonna drag myself up and out of the screen like I just flew away. And so we go jump, fly away. Okay, so let's click off of it. Let's see what we got. So I'm down and I jump and I fly away. Not too bad. Um, but we can make this a little bit better. So let's come up here and on our flying, let's hit enable motion blur. And then down here in our layer panel, let's click on that one motion blur. And that just kind of, what that's gonna do is it's as I'm moving, it's just going to add a little bit of blur to me so it makes it look like I'm actually moving. So you can kind of see uh, I got some blur to me as I'm as I'm flying off the screen. Okay. Now we can do a couple other things here too. So um, let's get right to that point where I'm about to fly. And I have some footage of some dust and uh, it's on the quest page as well so you can check that out and I'm gonna add this dust in here and I'm gonna make this dust come in right about where is it oh wait I gotta put it at the top let's see let's click on the dust let's move it up here so that it's our top layer and then you'll see it turns it everything black. So what I can do for that then is I can click on, do a two finger click on it, hit blending mode and hit add, and that's gonna make it the black kind of fade into there. So looks like, let's see, where do I want it to start? I want it to start right about, yeah, that looks good. So right there, it's gonna, now I just kicked up a bunch of dust from from my video f flying by there, and we can let's see. Let's go back one frame, and we can let's right where it goes to black. Let's uh, cut that. Oops. Hit Alt and the right bracket, and I'll cut it so that it doesn't keep going. Okay, so that looks good. So that's looking pretty good so far. But, uh, you know, if I took off and I started flying like that, 
I think there would be, I think the camera would be shaking a little bit. So, so we can do a couple other things to this as well. So let's go right to here about, and let's go up to window and let's hit wiggler. Okay, so what the wiggler does, you'll see over here it says frequency and magnitude, but before we do that, we need to just go into our, let's do our intro um, layer, and let's go set our, where we want it to start. So right about there, hit P to bring up the position, and then let's hit the stopwatch to start a keyframe. Let's move ahead and maybe right about to there, let's say. Hit this little diamond to add another keyframe. So we need to just select both of those so we have that one selected. So hit shift and click on that one. And you'll see then we have this option to change the magnitude and the frequency through that amount of time on that screen. So on that one then let's uh, let's say maybe frequency of 6 and a magnitude of 18 and let's hit apply and what will happen then is as I take off kind of uh, shakes or wiggles the camera a little bit you can make it more or less intense if you wanted but overall that's pretty good so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got now so take a deep breath getting ready to take off get down and then boom I take off camera kind of shakes a little bit we get some dust kicking up there we go flew away all right so that's your guys' task. See if you can make yourself look like you're flying away and your superhero actually flies. So take some good video, do a little bit of acting, cut it up, and um, you can add the dust. You can make it the, the screen wiggle to kind of show some, sh like, like it just shook when I flew away. And have some fun with it. Have good luck.